round matches for seedings, one to six, and then one plays two for gold, three plays four for bronze, and five and six, they play for pride. Out comes South Africa. Now, both these teams are off the back of the most brutal version of a loss. One point, buzzer beaters. South Africa, though, brought their dance game early. Well, it doesn't look like they're upset by that one point loss moments ago today. Enjoying the spirit that is Mars 5, and that is what it is all about. Great netball with some fun on the side. And my heart's in my throat once again as we await Australia's entrance. We're hoping they can make up from some fails historically by previous Australian players. Here come the Golden Girls. Oh, talk about choreography. What was I worried about? The girl can sing, and let's hope she hits some sweet notes in goals as well for Australia. Ball deliverers put the ball in the hands of Maddie Proud, who starts for Australia at centre. Tense up, folks. This is a must win for Australia to fight their way into a gold medal match. They also need a bit of a luck later on day two, but let's get to the moment at hand. Garbin across to Kira Austin. Gee, she's been good for Australia. Cops. I just wonder whether we're going to see a shootout between Austin and between Berger. Both have been brilliant from two-point range. I would just like to see Australia take the opportunities when they're there. Get the points on the board. Worry about the rest when the power play comes. It looks like that's their intention, that first shot under the post from Austin. Coaching staff look composed. Stacey Marinkovic and Julie Fitzgerald hold the reins okay, for this young the Australian lineup. Garvin. And they go for another one point safety first for Australia and take the lead out to two. Back play to the South African skipper Van der Merwe. Beautiful defence from the Aussies here. Absolutely nowhere to go, South Africa. And there's the end result. Maddie Proud wearing Chawina and that's the result. Another one pointer for Australia. What a start. And the crowd here in Melbourne know the importance of this one. They're riding every ball, loving the defensive effort from Clow. Pinch lip over the ball. Can't find Berger. Look at yeah. the double teaming from Australia. They've come to play. They know how important yep. this match is. And I was critical of Ziggy Berger the last game and that she's not offering anything but a backward movement and she's going to have to change it up this game. The Diamonds, sorry, the Aussies, too good for that. Well, they've done their homework, Australia. They've only had one match turnaround. The goalkeeper. Garvin the holds one. it up. Be a penalty pass a shot for Kira Austin. Steps it in. Another safety one. first play from Australia. It's a steady start. Last break, goal attack. Chouani is back to the skipper. Last contact, goal attack. Stoss. Oh, they're looking for Berger. There she is. Yeah, to the first star, oh, Siggy Berger. Hasn't fouled at the post for how many goals, and that was a stumble. Some nerves out there. There's a new intensity about the way Australia are playing. Same day one, they seem to be slow to warm to their task. Then they found their rhythm and the confidence blew. There's a new intensity, but it, always, it almost feels like a new calm in that they're just playing structured netball. There's no hurry and no push and urgency on the big shots, not putting themselves under pressure. Talk about the okay, game being high adrenaline, high octane, high speed. It also needs composure at just the right moment. And Australia showing that early. Coming up to halfway through the first quarter. Oh, stumbling out there. Crouch is everywhere, Matty Proud. So New South Wales swift to a giant in Austin. She 
separates the two Swift teammates in Crown and Garvin. They look like they belong, don't they? South Africa. Here's a chance for South Africa. Just the one so far throwing from the Bella. Down court comes Van der Merwe. Stoltz. Change up from Dar now on at centre. They're scrambling South Africa. Look at the defensive pressure from Australia. Well, it's a tough shot at the best of times, but oh. it's a clean and beautiful time jump. Hinchliffe. Yes. Well, a late inclusion into this Australian fast five line. Earning a keep, he's adjusted well. Chin on down, runs it down there. They are again, they're greedy for the intercepts. Oh, Hinchliffe again. Oh, That's a huge shot from Stoltz. And here's the work from Hinchliffe. Beautiful timing and rejection. Nothing sweeter if you're a defender. Well, it took a bit of time, but the shot from Stoltz will lift South Africa. Shooter to shooter, go Australia. Now, Kalia Stanton. What? what an entrance to the court from her. Bailed offside. Again, beautiful defense. Stoltz, absolutely nowhere to go. Oh, well read by Hinchliffe again. Just misunderstanding that Undal and Stoltz. She loves it from two point range. Bounce a pass. Yes. Renska Stoltz lines it up again. The right hand flicks it underneath its burger. Want to pepper the two, South Africa. are in chase position. Yeah, I just don't know how I feel about that. You've got an opportunity under the post. You're against two of the best defenders in the world. I think take your opportunities no matter where they are. Wow. Kayla Stanton does just that for Australia. And they hit six. Into the final minute. Berger, out on leads. And down looking for Stoltz, and again, she's trying to hug two points on. Oh, well, she's nervous now. The defensive work over the shot from Hinchliffe. A little premature from Hinchliffe, distance too short. Stoltz fires one up, takes his time, but finds its mark in South Africa. Find five. So off the back of a bit of scrambling from South beans. Africa and slow to warm. They're back in the business now, just a one-point game. Seconds remaining, what can Australia do? Back offside. Drive comes from Garvin and opens the back no. space. No off Australian. South Africa's Outside hands. Still time, they need to be smart with the ball, Australia. Stanton lines it up, left hand fires. Ball attack. Ball attack. Goes Ball against attack. Australia. Seconds down, that will be it. What a ferocious first quarter of netball. Why not? So much to play for. And we go to the first break. Australia leading South Africa by just the one, six, five. Stay with us. This is power play. They will be taking the Deacon power play Australia in this second quarter. So, Cat Cox, how will they approach it? Well, I'd like to think they were going to chip away like they did in that first quarter. Let's not forget those ones under the post still worth two points. And when the opportunities are there for the long ones, definitely have a go, which Stanton is about to do, and she's been good from there. Oh, good, how good, pretty good. What a start for Australia. It's been Kira Austin that's been so good in two-point range day one. So was Berger for South Africa. And it's been an area that Australia historically has not fired well from over the years. More about 30% last year from two-point range. So good from these young shooters. As Stanton goes again. Oh, they come to play Australia. How much do they want gold in 2018? No ball. Free pass. Possession opportunity again. Kim Jenner on. She's been good. She has been excellent this tournament. And that is a huge shot from Stanton. No follow through though from Bella with the rebound. Interesting to see Australia happy to take the second quarter for their power play. Didn't work for them last game, but they're sticking with it. Well, it's a confident move, isn't it? And South Africa will be taking their Deacon power play yeah. in the fourth quarter. So they have a really good look at what Australia can build, and then they'll run at it. Jenna. There's the skipper, Sam Pullman. Back She's been a good general center. from the back. And Jess Ann's just now running at centre. Austin at goal attack, so they're rolling the subs. Australia, plenty of fresh legs. Oh, well placed by Vimbella. 
So South Africa snuffing an opportunity for Australia. Bones offside. Super the defensive load now lifts from Australia trying to get possession back. Yeah, just nowhere to go. Such great defensive work in this Jenner. Oh, Jenner, super powers. Here's the work from Vimbella. Beautifully in front. Got up well. Possession back with Australia, so good scrambling. Kim Jenner, well, she's got some closing speed. And the attacking workload she's mounting through the middle. Kira Austin. Throw in, Australia. Or throw in, comes to Australia. Too much on it for Vimbella. So Stanton yes. steps up to the line. Australia have taken it out to 14. So eight so far in their power play period. On stretch is Austin. There's another two on the scoreboard. Australia take it to 16. Don't forget, you can stream all Fast Five matches live, fast, data free, through the Netball Live app, only with Telstra. Keep your eye on it. That ladder constantly changing game to game. Day two here at Fast Five. Looking for Berger. Berger looking for goal, finds the middle of the donut. Donuts and burgers are getting hungry, Kat. Keep your mind on the game, Annie. <laughs> Maddie Proud back on, engine room in the middle for Australia. Austin at the back, the front drive comes from Stanton. This for four, too much. Good pass. Found Austin under the post. Looks a little like tired players in the circle, doesn't it? Just not the explosiveness we're not used to seeing on moves. Understandable, it's tough. Oh, great rebound, oh, great timing from Stan. She mops it up with another two points and takes Australia to 18. So 12 points so far with just over two minutes remaining in their power play period. Good use of the Deacon power play. Lochner on for South Africa at goal attack. So Renske Stoltz getting some bench time, no doubt saving it for later in the game. Berger, oh, threw something behind that one, the right shoulder, given the worst. Jenna. Austin's looking for her shooting partner in Stanton. Chip away, chip away. Back at her. There's another two for Australia. Katia Stanton, great balance. And Tippy Toes gets the shot up. South Africa with possession from the centre, of course, the team that doesn't score in fast five netball gets the next centre. Australia already ahead of their average in 13.5 goals in their power plays this tournament. They're sitting on 14 at the moment, so they'll be happy with that. Long ball finds Proud on the drive. A little glitch there, but it's mopped up by Jenna. Stanton now with the movement. Oh, nice change of direction. Yeah, nice swing for Australia and Austin with the finish. In the final minute, as we approach halfway mark of this game, game 13, day two. Well, and all sorts of pressure from Maddie Proud. Pushing each other in that attack end, uh, South Africa. There's a finish from Siggy Berger. Many tout her as the next big shooting sensational on international netball. Certainly made a mark at Com Games early this year. Stanton, left-handed. Oh, nice high oh. shot. Cam Jack with snow on it. Double the points in the power play, and Australia take it to 26. 18-point quarter for Australia, saving their best for Game 13. Buzzer will beat Siggy Berger, so Australia pat on the back for them for the use of the power play. Low fives all around, they're in a good spot as they go to the half-time break. They lead South Africa in a must-win match, 26 to 8. Plenty of history around the court, some former Australian players, some of Australia's great coaches, of course, some Super League coaches having a little quick look at potential players. And Kat, you're a long bomb expert. Take us through those zones. Well, as you can see, the scoring zone is the one point and 91% for Australia and 67 for South Africa. Neither 
have scored from outside the circle yet. But let's see what happens in South Africa's power play coming up. Third quarter underway. Quickly, Australia spill the ball. South Africa in chase position. They've held back their Deacon power play to the fourth quarter. But they dearly love to get themselves back in better range of Australia. Well, that's going to be hard with these defensive combinations that the Aussies are putting out. Oh, great hold from Sarah Cloud, really flirting with the three seconds. Does the damage. It's hesitation in the mind of the shooters, and Australia back with the ball. Stanton. Well, and in contrast, look at the Aussies down there, said no end to the options they've got available. And Sophie Garvin just wants to get on with it, players on the floor or not. One. New South Wales Swift in 2018. Will be again Nine next year. Seems to me Cap Australia want to put this one beyond reach in this quarter. Yeah, and that's probably the thinking behind having their power play so early in the game. Really just try to blow the confidence out of the South African team. Put the pressure on them when it is their power play. Well, it's good if you can rack up the points. They did just add a 20-point quarter in the second quarter. Let's see what South Africa can do in chase position. What? Berger brings it just a little closer. Laura Sherian, Garvin, gathered well by Stanton. Can sing, can balance, bit of ballet. The girl's got it all. <laughs> oh, hesitation for South Africa. They're under all sorts of pressure. Australia really applying the pressure. Oh, great work, Garvin. Beautiful drive across the top of the circle, though, from Sherian. Oh, sweet! Sweet, sweet, swish at a finish from Stanton. Well, she can do no wrong. Kalia Stanton making her mark day two. Second year at Fast Five Netball. Looks like she learned a lot last year. One of the leaders on court, the way she's playing. There she's there, ball in hand. Hinchley from the back, Garvin out. Sherry, and there's some speed and some confidence in the way they're playing this ball around. Uh, all too easy up this end for the Aussies. Mixing it up beautifully, taking the long shots when they're available, the easy ones when they are on offer. I guess aware too, Kath, the ladder is so close and every game from now on is going to dictate terms. There's nothing known or guaranteed, but getting your percentages up is a must. Well, it could well come down to that, couldn't it, at this rate? First and foremost, the team's to be focusing on the wins. Stoltz rings out. I'm having a happy time. Game 13, Ranker Stoltz. Best ever finish for South Africa bronze in 2012. They bring seven debutants in 2018. So do Australia. But gee, they're starting to look like they belong together. Oh, Stanton! Um, lost for words. We've used up our list of superlatives. Australia 34. Oh. All coming undone for South Africa. The workload that they're having to do in attack is starting to take a toll on the basic skills and the shots. And what it's doing is reverse psychology, isn't it, Kath? I mean, they've got their power play to come in the next quarter, but it almost puts you in a position where you feel the pressure rather than enjoy having the privilege. Well, and that's it. They're going to have to start shooting a lot of threes, and that in itself is, a, well, it's a big ask, isn't it, to start draining those. This connection oh, between Umdahl and Lochner. Yes. My whistle. Haven't seen Lochner teamed up with Stoltz much in Fast Five. Not this year. Uh, Lochner's got to come out and get on the move. Oh, I get an option. Smothered by Australia's defensive effort. And I don't just mean Clough and Hinchliffe. A lot of work from Anstis as well. And the goal attacks, not that you and I would know about it, doing a wealth of defensive work through the middle. Contact hold, goalkeeper in the two. How's your intercept step? <laughs> For life? Yeah, not career. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the beautiful <laughs> shot there, Garvin. Not been responsible for many of those. It's generally been Austin or Stanton, but she's showing that she can do it too. I found the satellite connection then. Sophie Garvin 
Merv, she's going to rain those three-pointers in the back end of the competition. Yeah, that was a much better setup then from Lochner. Put the hold on. Destruction. Super shot attempt. No, just not happening. She switched off the radar. Shots. Kira Austin, back play. And again, so Australia just casually using up some back plays, maintaining possession. Gives a little bit of rest, albeit momentarily, for the front runners. 30 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Australia 38 leads up, Africa 9. How a play to follow for South Africa. Not a happy face, Renska Stoltz. Yes, whistle. Well, as much as she'd be trying not to, she'd be thinking about what they've got to try and get back in the last quarter. What that will hurt that? somewhat. But only two points this quarter for South Africa, just not good enough. Well, it's taken three quarters of netball for them to hit double digits. Anstis, one kidney, three chickens, great balance. That signals through quarter time, and Australia have made great use of their power play in the second and ran a very smart third quarter to go to the break, leading South Africa 38 to 10. When we return up the break, South Africa, well, they've got their power play. What can they do? We'll find out in just a moment. We're coming to you live on Nine Wide Water Sports. Love is a play. It's congested at the top, Jamaica, New Zealand, oh, Australia, flexing their muscles to get into that gold medal playoff. It's the Deacon power play for South Africa. Stoltz lines it up. She's just lost the radar in this match, hasn't she, Kat? Been so impressive up till now. She has, and I'm putting that down to the hard work that she's having to do in attack just to get the ball in the shooting circle as it is. Aussie defensive pressure has been outstanding. This would be Australia's best side. performance so far for me, clinical. I'm with you on that, and isn't it wonderful in a game that boasts shooting expertise and flair and flamboyance, a la Kira Austin, how much we're talking defence. Yeah, absolutely, and it, it, it is 100% that when you minus that wing attack, you notice it so much more, and there's just nowhere to go for South Africa. And to be fair, as two old shooters talking defence does stick in the throat a little bit, doesn't it? But they're brilliant and they're running hot, Australia. Look at this display, shooter to shooter they go. Chipping away, another point on the board, and they hit it 40. This has been a bit of a lesson from Australia, and they're a rookie side. Yeah, 30 points to make up here, and South Africa's best power play has been 22 Australia. points to date. Not enough. I've got a question for you, Catherine Cox. Maybe too early to call it, but let's call it at the moment. This is a rookie side for Australia, seven debutants. Is this... Australia's best ever fast five performance we're looking at, irrespective of gold down the track in a couple of games. I wouldn't have said yes at the start of this tournament, but after this game, it would be up there, definitely. As I said, the most clinical they've played, and I think they've been tactically very smart in this game. Wow, tactically smart, clinical, spectacular. As Stanton adds another two-pointer, and Austin falls awkwardly, I think embarrassed as she gets to her feet. They've certainly saved their best so far in 2018 for this game's 13 encounter with South Africa. Here they go again, more of the same. Proud to Stanton. I think maybe they need to do a bit more singing and dancing when they come out before the matches. Give a mic to Stanton because she fires up after it. And now, uh, Stoltz, super shot range three. for six. Yeah, nice oh, try, Jenna, but she fell within her three feet. The obstruction call came before the shot. Oh, second one of it. And that's what the crowd were hoping for. You know, we can't get carried away. Three and a half minutes remaining. If they can pepper three-point zone in a double play, they're back in business in a matter of moments. Well, they need to start peppering them, and they need to pepper a lot of them, as you put it. Pepper alliteration from Catherine Cox. <laughs> Not bad halfway through day two. <laughs> well, it won't happen as long as Australia keep chipping away. Oh, China again. Closing speed has been exceptional all year in this tournament in particular. Yes. All this talk of uh, chipping away, of chipping and of pepper. If it goes into Burger's hand, I'll be super hungry. <laughs> yes. 
into the final three minutes of the match. Kim Jenner. Gee, she's got an engine room, just keeps coming. The Queensland Firebirds defender, she's made good use of her time in Fast Five, surely will draw the eye of Lisa Alexander. Emerging talent on show for both countries. Yeah, there's 30 points to make up. They've narrowed that gap to just 23. Very, very quickly. Stanton, though, no, doesn't want to borrow it. Earlier, Stanton. Career best for Fast Five 2018. Enjoy the work. Mundell looks for Berger, but it's closed off. Jenna. That is a huge shot. Oh, well done. The Australian defensive pair really shut down yeah. the space. And that's a despondent <laughs> coaching okay, panel for South Africa. Into the final two minutes. Australia lead by 25 points. Have sent out a warning on the eve of medal playoffs. Yes. And this fast fight netball. Game to game, it just turns on its head, doesn't it? We came thinking who we thought might make gold medal. The first three matches were one-point buzzer beater games. Sent everybody scrambling for the ladder. And now this game has put the pressure back on New Zealand and Jamaica to finish their round matches. Pullman, the veteran, the skipper. Again, forcing the error from South Africa. One minute remaining. Little laps from Jenna. She runs it down the Sherry and Centre. I suppose she's allowed one or two <laughs> laps. She's been very near perfect for the rest of the tournament, as has this lady, Kira Austin. Looks effortless. Oh, shot D. That was nice. So as we watch it tick it down, let's keep setting the scene for you because every match is so important, so absorbing as we near the end of this Fast Five Championship. Australia have done everything they can, but the reality is, Kat, they need New Zealand or Jamaica to stumble. And those matches coming up, how important are they? New Zealand next up against Malawi, and then later Jamaica will play in the last match of the rounds. It all comes down the house of cards to that match. Oh, this is a monster shot from Stanton. <laughs> and that is it. Oh, and oh, some theatrics oh, at the end. I know she's baking a cake for what that was about. I don't know, but the crowd were right with her on the shot. What a shot it was. Spectacular super shot from Paleo Stanton to wrap up the match. Australia hit the half century.